Welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and it is vlog day. So happy to see every single one of you. Okay, so if you guys remember last weekend, <laughs> I was going to go ahead and finish up um, my one tumbler that, that I was doing. And I don't want you guys to be mad at me. I wasn't able to finish it. I wasn't able to finish it. <laughs> I have um, been knee deep in my chaos boxes because my chaos boxes launched on Tuesday. So I've just been super busy um, getting boxes, you know, new order boxes together and stuff like that. So that way I can get everything shipped out by tomorrow and Tuesday. So that Monday and Tuesday, I want all my boxes out the door. But I've been super busy with that. And so, and then, you know, I had my tutorial that I had to finish up and post on Friday, but I wasn't able to finish it. Don't be mad at me. Okay. I'll get it finished. Okay. All, all that needs is a quote. That's it. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I keep seeing flashes of glitter all over me. It happens. I, I mean, I work with glitter all day. I mean, <laughs> I have, uh, my tumbler from Friday here. I really enjoyed making this. I really like how that turned out. I kind of wish I would have added more different colors of the swirls. Let me grab the box. So I bought the, the whole kit that comes with everything in there, all the colors. So there's like regular translucent colors and then they have like regular like pigmented colors, so it, it's not translucent. Most of them are kind of translucent, but like the black isn't. You got like if you use these dyes and you don't, and it's not translucent, you gotta be careful. I mean, even the translucent it could you know potentially get out of control, but I mean, <laughs> but I like it. It comes in these these little jars. You guys seen? But I really enjoy using these. I've been using using these for years, so they actually didn't used to look like this. They looked a little bit different. These jars are much better, or the bottles are much better now than they were when I was using it. I don't know if I still have one of the old ones here. Oh, I do. So this is their old bottle. And then to get it out, it was like, you had to like snip off the end. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I never did a good job doing that, but I like these new bottles they have now. But if you guys want to get your own set so that way you can make up your own swirls or do beach scenes and stuff, um, that's pretty much what I use most of the time. If I don't use my alcohol inks, I'll use my dyes and stuff. So, But I do have a discount code, Sandy10, for Illumilite. If you like Illumilite, I'm just saying, it's out there. <laughs> but I went ahead and I did a coaster as well. Well, I mean, I'm assuming you guys watched my tutorial. I don't know. If you haven't, this is what I did. <laughs> but that's what I did. Look at that. You can see the sparkle dust in the top coat. Or the finishing coat. There we go. Of it. Sparkly. But I like it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I, I do wish I would have added just a little bit more to it. But I like it. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did that striped tumbler that I showed you guys last weekend. There's a couple more things I wanna add to it today uh, before I get it its last coat of epoxy on and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I accomplished that look and then finish it up. No, I mean, not like how I didn't finish this one up, that one will be finished, <laughs> unless I want a quote to go on it, which I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, <laughs> all right, anyways, we got some stuff to do, so I'm ready to show you guys that. I got, I got my cup and I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, so if you guys remember last week, I told you guys that I made two stripe cups when I made the stripe double-sided tape stuff. There, yeah. <laughs> but I made two and I kind of showed you guys a sneak peek of the, the one that I'm about to show you guys right here um last week so that's what I'm doing here I'm just doing the same kind of concept I'm going to measure see uh what kind of width of tape I'm going to want to use it's the same uh or not width height you know length 
anyways. <laughs> and I actually went with like an inch tape and then like a half inch tape to kind of do what I want to do because I, I did something a little bit different. I left like a gap in the middle. So that's all I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to apply my tape. I'm trying to remember how many rows I did. I didn't uh, like pre-watch this before I started doing my voice over here, but I think I did. Let me see two of the bigger tapes so three of the smaller tapes all together and then left like a big gap in the middle but I'll show you guys here but I did the same thing there was a little bit um, of that tape that was kind of popping up around the edges so I just made sure to kind of do my slits so that way all that tape would stay down nice and flat and not be popped up under there and then I just came through and did my stripes so this one as you can tell, I didn't prime my base with a, a specific color, and I wish I would have. Um, I just did a white base here. I figured it would be fine, but um, I'll show you guys here in a second. When I went to go put on the glitter, like you could see the white through it just a little bit, but I wasn't too bothered by it. It didn't look too bad, but you definitely can see it, you know, under it because the, the tape is clear. So, but so now I'm just finishing up this top portion here. I'm going to apply one more. So two big pieces of like one inch tape and three half inch pieces went really well. And this was a 30 ounce tumbler, just like I did my other one in. And I'll make sure to tag that video so that we got, if you haven't seen it, you can watch it, but super easy so far. So for me, it was just a lot easier to start at the bottom first, so that way when I went up, I had that gap in the middle that I wanted. So I'm actually bringing my tape down so it actually kind of curves around the bottom just a tad, so that way I had that even space in the middle. And I'm going to show you guys here in a second after I cut my tape off here. All I did to make sure that it was going to curve around the bottom there, it was just very little that it kind of curved. I just made a bunch of little slices, and then I'm just going to push them all down around that curve and it looked so beautiful. It, it really did turn out nice and smooth and you can't even tell that I had to do that. So now I'm just going to do the same process where I did uh, my one inch tape and then my half inch tape, one inch tape again, and then one more half inch. And that's pretty much the look that I'm going for here. All right, now that my tape is applied, I used Beloved and Adore. Um, trying to, I think I start with Beloved first. I did Beloved for, it's, it's pretty much exactly like my other cup, just a little bit different. So this is kind of like a different design from what I, what I showed. But there, I just pulled my paper backing. I'm gonna make sure that I press my glitter down really well. And then I'm gonna move on to the door and the one inch sections there after I get done with this. But, I've seen double-sided tape used, I mean, it's been used for a very long time and I forgot how fun it is to use. I haven't used it in so long. And then I've seen everybody starting to use the, the uh, tumbler tape, I think, or it's pretty much just the um, two-sided big sheets that you can get and you can cut out and stuff. You just have to make sure you set it on your washi tape setting when you go to cut those out. But all that stuff has been out for a really long time. And like I said, I, I totally forgot how fun they are to use and how easy it is to use to be able to do these kind of things. All right, now I pulled my backing off the, for the my one inch and now I'm gonna do my adore and there we go. I got my stripes so far. You know, I forgot to mention uh, on my tutorial that I did when I did when I did this that um, if you have any of those weird little spots that accidentally just didn't get covered by the glitter for whatever reason the tape kind of peeled back or whatever and it didn't leave it down it's okay to come through with your Mod Podge or whatever you like to use I'm I'm just using my amazing sealer and uh, kind of hit up that spot and and put your glitter down not a big deal but right into the center I'm going to be putting Cherish and on the very bottom I'm going to be putting Cherish as well so I'm just going to fill this in very carefully with my glue and then I'll apply that glitter you know as I was making this I really had no rhyme or reason of what I was doing I just knew I wanted to use these colors because I, I I really love these colors I think they're absolutely beautiful this was last month's chaos box colors and I just really wanted to use them that's all I knew so I didn't care how I, I just knew I kind of had an idea in mind and I'm just really happy with how it came out and again the whole reason why I did not make this my actual tutorial was because I just wanted um, to teach everybody how to use the double-sided tape and then to just kind of take it from there and, and do what you guys want to do. So now here in my vlog, I'll just show you guys exactly kind of what I did with mine. And, you know, the, it's so hard sometimes. I, I really do miss um, having my, my Tumblr shop open. 
because I come up with ideas all the time and I can't make everything a tutorial because I don't think it's tutorial worthy, you know, <laughs> because it's just me doing stuff that, you know, people do all the time everywhere. You know, you can go on TikTok and see a 30 second video of how to do it. So it's hard to come up with tutorials all the time, but, <laughs> but I just, I just want you guys to always feel confident in what you do. And I, I feel like the vlogs, my vlogs are the place for me to kind of be real with you guys and, and just kind of talk to you more and, and just show you my ideas and, and just do random stuff that you might see on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm doing it here with you guys. But like I said earlier, I do miss having my, my Tumblr shop open because the amount of things I think of all the time, I, I probably could have like ready to ship items all the time. <laughs> do I have the time to do that? No, I don't. But would I love to? Of course I would. I, I would absolutely love to do that. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're, we're just uh, chatting here. All right. We're just chatting as you watch me sweep off my Tumblr here. But... <laughs> So this is before the coat of epoxy and after everything dried. I'm going to sweep all that extra glitter off because we don't want anything accidentally floating around. I'm going to go spray it down really good with my Rust-Oleum there, apply my epoxy, and we're ready to move on to what I want to do to it next. All right, so this is like the next day or two or what, whenever I had time because this was just my fun cup I was playing with. But as I was doing this, I was a little bummed out because... I made the base white and I wish I would have made it the color of the glitter that I used because as I was sanding off the rim here, you could still see the paint a little bit because I kind of keep my, my tape down from the edge just a little bit so that way I can do that process and you could still see the white. But anyways, it's all good. You know, it's still beautiful. I, I think so at least, you know. <laughs> now, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I can't see what that says, but that's the tape that I'm using here to be able to do my next portion. I ain't got my rain glasses on. I'm getting old, you know. <laughs> I need my my glasses on. I couldn't see what that said. Sorry. You guys probably seen it though. But this is going to be um, the pinstriping, quote unquote, to kind of go in between everything. And so I did the smaller tape on the outside of each one of the, the one inch ones. And then the... Uh, I feel like I'm really confusing everybody when I say this. Anyways, <laughs> I feel like I'm confused as I'm saying it. But <laughs> but in the middle, I'm actually going to use a... Here we go. There we go. We're moving on to the next one. So I did that. See? See how I did it? And now this is my half inch, and I'm actually going to outline my center line with it because my... If you look over there, I accidentally painted up onto my glitter, and so it was kind of uneven. So I decided to use kind of a bigger one, and it still looks fabulous. Nobody knows. Now you know, but you probably wouldn't have known if you would have looked at my tumbler. <laughs> That's what pinstriping's for, right? Kind of hide any little imperfections. So I'm just going to wrap that around the center like that. So... Um, this next part that I'm coming up to, uh, because like I said, this was just a cup that I was playing around with. It wasn't my actual tutorial. I forgot to record some of it and I ended up, uh, after I pulled the backing off and I put the glitter on, I used my dusty pink, which I'll show you guys here in a second. It's coming up here any second. There it is. Okay. <laughs> but this is where I was like, you know what? I should record this. And so I'm using my dusty pink. And I just sprinkled that on and then I started dusting it off and I was like, oh my goodness, these colors, I just like this. I should have left it just like this to be honest with you, but I, I do like how it did turn out in the end as well. But and I'll kind of explain to you guys here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and sweep all this away. But like I said, as I, as I was sweeping it, I'm like, wow, this is so pretty. I should have went ahead and just made this my tutorial. I don't know what I was thinking, but then... I had the bright idea to burnish my glitters down, which I should have left it just like this. Okay, so I'm going to take my napkin. I'm going to take my, my rubbing alcohol, all right? And then I'm going to burnish it down so that way it lays flat, all right? See, I'm, I'm trying to make that hollow color. But what happened was <laughs> when I did this, my holographic, uh, my additive there, it got stuck down into the epoxy and didn't want to brush off like it was like embedded in there see how it looks real thick in there and I, I'm not gonna lie I almost did start crying I was like why is why did this happen what did I do I've been doing this for four years what am I doing <laughs> why <laughs> 
but then after I kind of walked around the craft room and, and was like, what, what's happening? I can't believe this happened. I showed Jeff and Jeff's like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys can give me some insight. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, after I did all that and I came to terms with it, I decided, like I always tell you guys that, you, you know, you got to take these little oopsies and, and turn it into something positive. And I was like, you know what? We're going to move forward with it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I did as much as I could with it by getting off as much as I could in between. So it wasn't as filled in with that. And then I went ahead and gave it a coat of epoxy. And then after I was looking at it, because I had just bought uh, a bunch of uh, the sticky sheets from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Have you guys seen those? I had just bought a bunch of those. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I bet these would look really awesome over what I did here. So I actually did not record what I did to it after this with, with the sprinkling of the glitter and stuff like that. But I'm going to kind of go over it with you guys. And I, I know you guys will understand what I'm saying and kind of get the gist of, of things. But And then after, after that, I'll show you guys how I'm going to be completely finishing it as well. So these are the sticky sheets I was telling you guys about. If you haven't seen these, they are so cute. All right, I'll make sure to put a link down below. But as you see, I just cut out portions and I used that flower one right at the top there. But look at all these other ones. Look at that one. I really wanted to use that one, but I was like, no, that doesn't really go with what I'm doing. And they have all these other cute ones. But you guys definitely check out their site and, and see what they have. But I just used those purple flowers right there on the top and I cut a few out and I wrapped it around the top and the bottom. I put a coat of epoxy over it and I speak, I sprinkled. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Who who gave me a YouTube channel? I sprinkled some disco dots right in, right in the middle of the tumbler itself after I put the epoxy over top, and that's where I left off. And now we're gonna pick up. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish it. So my awesome friend Mimi, if you guys remember, she sent me all kinds of foils and a beautiful tumbler as well. All right, thank you. I'm using it right now. <laughs> but she sent me all these foils, and these are actually, I believe, uh, foils for your fingernails. As, because that's why they're so tiny. That, that's what I'm guessing. I don't really know. <laughs> so I'm going to use, I was trying to figure it out. What do I want to use? And in the image itself, it has little hints of gold. So I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm going to go with. So I chose this gold holographic and I have my tacket over and over. You definitely want to use tacket over and over. And I actually painted it onto just portions of where the gold is at onto the tumbler and then I'm, I let it that dry and now I'm just going to take my nail my nail foil there we go I almost said tape my nail foil and I'm just going to dab that all over the place to kind of really accent those flowers and just give it a lot more dimension and, and character to it. And after I burnished my glitter down I noticed that you could see the seam of where my tape was so I'm actually going to use that foil to kind of hide that as well. Again, nobody will know, right? I mean, you do now, but nobody will know. <laughs> and I took some flowers right there and I cut it one in half and you could kind of just really tell that it, I kind of cut it in half. So I'm going to blend that in as well. Just like I, like I said, just hide any little imperfections. This is a great way to kind of do that and, and give just a little bit more glitz to what you're doing. So after I got that all foiled, I'm going to have to put another coat of epoxy on it. I don't, I didn't really have time to uh, put epoxy on it today, but I'll definitely have to maybe post a picture or something for you guys. But I am really in love with this. And in a way, I wish I would have went ahead and made this my, my tutorial. But again, you know, I feel like this was the best place for it. it was right here in my vlog with you guys. All right, it's like three in the morning. I know my lighting's horrible, but I'm about to show you a little bit better and, and, and some better lighting here in a second what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so I really like how this turned out. I really do. Look at that. You guys see that? I got some better lighting in here. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> but I really like how that, I just, I like how just little bits of it and just added a little bit of the speckles of that glitter in between. Nothing on the flowers, just, just in between, just in the middle and up in between. And then just added bits of this stuff to kind of hide any little imperfections or places where I accidentally, uh, where was it? Like right here, I just kind of did that because it was just like a cut flower that I didn't have. But I really, really like how that turned out. Just needs another coat. Maybe I should put a 
a quote on it. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging. There was a bug in here. Did you see it? Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.